Hey guys, it's JP, and this time we are going to go over why big toe mobility is important for runners and how to improve this so you can improve the way you run. Now, despite being one of the smaller parts of the body, the first toe, more commonly known as the big toe, plays some big roles as you run. Where the big toe really shines is during the moment the heel begins to lift and the foot is preparing for the push off or propulsion phase. As this occurs, you can see that the big toe begins to move like so, otherwise known as big toe extension. Because of this, it causes tension within the foot, which causes certain foot mechanisms to occur, most notably the windlass mechanism. Now, I won't bore you with the details of this mechanism, but to keep it simple, the windlass mechanism basically turns the foot into a more rigid unit. This is important because of how the foot is structured. As I had mentioned before, there are 26 bones, 33 joints, and many muscles, tendons, and ligaments in the foot. This helps the foot adapt to a variety of different surfaces and helps absorb forces through it. However, if the foot stays relaxed and flexible throughout the running cycle, you won't be able to produce force through it. At the moment of push off, you need a strong, stable base to optimize force generated from the region. Now, with the windlass mechanism, this basically tightens up the foot and makes the area more stable and reduces energy leakage that may occur from all the other joints in the foot. Ultimately, this optimizes force output as your legs begin to propel you forward as you run. Now, big toe mobility is important to consider because if you do not have enough of it, the toe will figure out another way to get this to take place. Typically, the way the foot will solve the mobility problem is through having the toe move sideways, which is known as hallux valgus, which may lead to something more commonly known as bunions. From a performance perspective, if the big toe resorts to this pattern, forces produced from the leg may be more directed more sideways rather than straight. By keeping it more straight, it will lead to bigger steps and ultimately faster times. Now that I covered that, let's go over some exercises you can try to improve big toe mobility. The first exercise we will go over is a big toe elevated single leg heel raise. All you really need for this one is a rolled up sock or small towel and positioning it under the big toe. Then, after you are set up, you can perform heel raises on it. This is a great one to try as this can help improve big toe mobility as well as target the calf muscles which are heavily involved in the push off phase of running. Another exercise you can try is toe yoga. This is a pretty popular and staple exercise for the feet. Basically, you can try to lift the big toe up while simultaneously pressing down with the other four toes. Then, you reverse it and press the big toe down while lifting the other toes up. And then you basically alternate between these patterns. This overall helps improve foot coordination as well. I will give one warning though. This is harder than it looks and it may be difficult to do initially. A third exercise you can try is toe walking. This is a simple one that involves walking on the balls of your feet, not actually on the tips of your toes. By doing this, you can use gravity in your body to help improve big toe mobility. And it also involves isometric usage of the calf muscle, which is something that occurs during the push off phase. The last exercise you can try is the split squat. This might not make sense at first, which is exactly why I want to incorporate it in this video. This is a combo. When you really look at it, this can work on big toe mobility on the back leg and the quads in the front leg, which is another essential muscle as you run. And those are some exercises you can try. I hope you guys found this video useful. Please don't hesitate to ask any questions. And as always, thank you for watching.